What's up, you guys? This is Mary. I'm with High Persistent Intuition. This is um, Capricorn hashtag glow up for the month of November of 2021. This could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Menhaven, or Jupiter. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. It doesn't apply to the plot. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, hashtag glow up is like the opposite counterpart of um, truth hidden. So the truth hidden is, you know, what they don't want you to, um, what somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. It's like the dark side of the energetic spaces in the throw. Hashtag love is the light side. So it focuses on positivity, healing, growth, manifestation, um, things of that nature. So um, just to give you guys an overview for uh, newbies just clicking on or just joining and um, everybody else. This could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, or Jupiter. Thanks, everybody, for all the likes, subscribes, and shares, and unlikes to the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support, even the unlikes, and I truly appreciate all the donations. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below if you'd like to donate. Um, to let everybody know while I'm finishing shuffling out, um, the uh, all the truths hidden for Caps through Sag are up for November, and for week two of all sign readings are up for the um, for the month of November. Just to let everybody know. Okay, so here's what we got. This is for the sign of Capricorn. We have Cat Spirit. Cat Spirit, Air, Movement, Meditation, Make a Vision Board, the Sun. Number 13, 18, 32, 33, or 51 could be very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 13, 18, 32, 33, or 51. Those could be significant um, ages of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible lottery number, possible jersey number. Um, it could be a social security card number, green card number. Um, date of birth number. It could be any significant number, reoccurrent number you're seeing on advertisements or billboards. I'll repeat them one more time. 13, 18, 32, 33, or 51. I feel guided to do this one. And then we'll, okay. Cat spirit, claim your independence. By the way, this is earth sign energy. For, so for some of you guys, you could be dealing with the earth sign, another earth sign, another, another Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. A particular Capricorn is about to become very, very, very independent. Completely on their own. They will be so happy. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, congrats, Caps, that this is for you. Heard a particular Caps. Caps is about to become completely independent, uh, completely on their own. They're going to be so, so happy. So claim your independence. Well, my gosh, you're about to claim your freaking independence. You go with your bad self, Caps. Um, you go with your bad freaking self. I heard you're about to, you're about to claim that biatch. You are about to do the daggum thing. So you go with your bad self, um, claiming your independence, really taking, um, I heard you because I make you very happy and I don't blame you. I love being on my own. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I don't blame you. Not one bit. Um, for some of you, I feel you could have had a roommate or lived with a parent or parents, um, or lived in a toxic, abusive relationship. Um, but it sounds like you're about to break free and claim your independence. You go with your bad self. Um, and cats are amazeballs animals. They just are, they are, are. For some, you may own a cat, possibly. Just saying, just saying. Let me see if I hear anything else. And someone is about to get a cat soon. 
Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Holy crap. I heard. And uh, it sounds like at least one of you guys in the universe is about to get a cat soon. So, okay. So you're about to get out on your own, completely out on your own, paying your own bills, doing your own thing. And somebody's about to get a cat. You guys are bad self cats. The, sh the sun. A particular Capricorn is about to reach out to a Leo soon. They're not sure how to do it. Really be honest about the past. Okay, see. It will probably result in a lawsuit. Know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my goodness. Heard a particular caps is um, about to reach out to a uh, Leo soon. Um, I heard you're not sure how to do it. I was like, um, but I heard it will probably result in a lawsuit. So know this. So um, you're about to reach out to the uh, Leo and be honest with them about the past in some shape, form, or fashion. If this resonates with you, um, but um, and you're gonna be honest. You're gonna be very honest. But um, the truth is going to result in a lawsuit in some shape, form, or fashion. Not against you. Okay, I heard not against you. So the uh, it's going to be a lawsuit against someone else or some other people, but not against you. Um, and that would make sense because you're being honest, you know, about the past. But um, I heard it's going to result in a lawsuit either against one person or several people, but it's not against you. So um, the sun in this case is Leo energy because the sun in this deck is indicative of Leo energy. You plug it in how it resonates. And being completely independent is going to make you so incredibly happy. Okay. I heard in being completely independent, it's going to make you so incredibly happy. So you being independent completely on your own is going to make you so incredibly happy, which um, happiness, sun, happiness uh, with your independence. Um, you go with your bad self caps and like I said, at least one of you guys is about to reach out to a Leo soon, be, uh, being completely honest about the past, but it doesn't sound like the Leo is going to be mad at you. It actually sounds like the Leo is going to be happy. Um, very happy. Okay. I heard very happy. Okay. There you go. Confirmation. Very happy. So Leo is going to be very happy. You're going to be honest with them because they will, it sounds like they're going to have the information they need to sue somebody. Um, this is exactly what it sounds like. Um, but you're about to come out on your own. You're about to be very happy. You go with your bad self calf. Sounds like you've done a lot of inner work, shadow work, healing, and, um, you go with your bad self. If that resonates for you. Air. Higher education, knowledge. Okay, I heard higher education and knowledge. So at least one of you guys is seeking higher education and knowledge. Um, I feel you might be in school. Um, I feel you might be in school or about to uh, apply for school, however that resonates. But you're seeing seeking higher um, education and knowledge. So you are, um, you're going to manifest in yourself. For some, I feel you are in school or you're, um, about to apply to get into school, however that resonates. Um, and I was reading the bottom part before I got that message, and it says I embrace the element of air, of air and am open to all knowledge and wisdom. So I think you're really, really, you're really manifesting yourself. I think you truly are studying hard, you're working hard, you're studying hard, you're um, really soaking in the knowledge. Um, you're not just, you're not cheating. I think you're really, 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 studying whatever you're studying you know whatever it is you're studying um but you really are soaking it in if that makes sense movement meditation i celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement a capricorn is about to join dance classes
Okay, I heard a CAPS is about to join dance classes. Well, you go with your bad self, CAPS, if that resonates with you. About to join some dance classes, moving and shaking your groove thing. You go with your bad self. Holy freaking A, man. Okay, you go with your bad self. Make a vision board. This would be very, very, very helpful. Some for meditation. And your altar. Okay, I heard some of you guys, this would be very, very helpful. Um, some of you guys for meditation and altar. So some of you guys have an altar. And um, I heard it'd be very good for your meditation. So your meditation time. Um, I feel some of you guys meditate. And you take time to meditate, which is awesome. Everybody should do that, in my opinion. Um, and um, some, of, some of you guys just be good for your uh, altar. So some of you guys have an altar. A light magic altar, I feel. I don't feel it's a dark magic altar. Um, it's a light side altar, and that's beautiful. So um, I heard a vision board would be good for your altar. So a vision board is, it can be anything, really. But, you know, um, we have one particular subscriber on here that made a beautiful vision board. But this is an example of this lady's vision board. It really can be any freaking thing, anything. Um, but it's obviously visual oriented. Um, and it's usually things that bring you positivity and happiness and um, positive affirmations, basically, is what a vision board is, constitutes. So um, you go with your bad self. I heard one of you guys would be good for your altar. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Creative things coming. Okay, I heard creative things coming. Creative things coming. So I think you're gonna you're gonna create something. Um, creative things coming. Base. Base is what I heard. Base. So so somebody's gonna create a vase, or you're gonna create something that goes in a vase. Um, I heard a vase. So um, maybe you're in the pottery. Maybe you're in the pottery for some of you guys. Um, or you're going to get into pottery, however that resonates. Okay. Well, I think we're done. That was a pretty good one. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys. I hope this, uh, hope you enjoyed this. And if you think anyone else can benefit from the messages, please share the videos on your social media. I'd appreciate it. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Namaste.